walk in clay. Gorgeous gal in the jar. And basically what you do is you mix just a little bit of it um, in the palm of your hand, like literally like a quarter of a teaspoon, like the size of a dime covers your whole face. So this jar will probably like last me a good month and a half, if not two months, probably two months. So it's like the size of a dime and you put like a couple of drops of water. Don't put too much water. It'll get too runny. So it's almost like uh, making a cake. Like you have to kind of put a little bit of flour and a little bit of water to get it into that like cakey or clay consistency. So again, size of a dime for the clay and then a few drops of water. You mix it in the palm of your hand. Um, or even if you have a spoon, put it in the spoon and put a couple drops of water in the spoon and mix it. If it's still too dry, put a couple more drops in there and just kind of keep playing with it until it's like a muddy consistency. And then you just put it on your nose. And as you can tell, it's disappearing. It's not really disappearing. It's drying. And as it dries, it turns this beige color. So on me, it looks like it's disappearing. But it turns a beige color. And you'll see it like continue to like just disappear on my face. Um, kind of because it dries the same color that my skin is. But um, what I do is I get a warm washcloth, warm towel and washcloth, and I have it all over my face. I start like here at my hairline and actually go all the way down to my chin. And it's safe to use even here up until your neckline. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Um, so, and then I just go in little circles. I go in little round circles and I just feel like my skin kind of getting a facelift. It gets tighter. It feels smoother when I take it off. And anyone who knows me personally, like from before this video, I used to wear makeup. I didn't used to wear makeup because I felt like spending 45 minutes every morning trying to look better than how I looked right when I woke up. I wore makeup because I try to cover up my blemishes. That's a little bit embarrassing for me to admit on national YouTube channels. But um, so many of us go through it. I mean, women, we have makeup. Men don't. Um, well, some men do, but most men don't wear makeup. Um, but it's kind of sad because I used to try to hide my skin because I didn't want people to see my blemishes. And, you know, I didn't have any severe acne or severe scarring, but, you know, even just like one big pimple right here, you can tell people are looking at your cheek when they're talking to you. It's just embarrassing, especially as an adult, to like have blemishes and think that that's something that you should have as a teenager then get over it. But so many people, including myself, go into adulthood with mild to moderate to severe acne. So this helped tighten my pores. I had kind of bigger pores on my nose and bigger pores on my chin. It tightened my pores. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I kid you not. I'm not wearing any makeup. I would never, I used to wear makeup to go to the grocery store. I wore makeup as soon as I stepped out the house, I had makeup on. I would never be on tape on YouTube with no makeup on had it not been for this product. So the holidays are coming up, whether it's a treat for yourself, a treat for your man, a treat for um, someone that you love, your child, your teenager who has acne or who has big pores and are embarrassed of their skin. Whoever it is that, if it's for you or for whoever it is that you feel would benefit from this, definitely go to serioushealth.net and get this Moroccan Red Clay. I've tried everything starting from $6 to $60, $70, $80 um, from like clear sale to these products that you get online or products that you have uh, infomercials about on TV and some of the things burned my skin. I have sensitive skin. Some of the things burn my skin. Some of them have acid in them. Some of them have glycerin in them, which if you don't know what glycerin is, look up glycerin. It's disgusting. Um, there's just so many things that I refuse to put on my skin. And now one of those things is makeup. Makeup has chemicals in it. Um, you may think that you're hiding blemishes, but you're actually making your skin worse. Um, by continuing to use it, it deteriorates your skin, um, and, it pre and it ages you prematurely. So you might look good today, but in a couple of years, there's no amount of makeup that could cover the damage that you're doing by continuously putting these harsh abrasive chemicals that literally, if it's helping your acne, it's because it's literally like burning the top layer of your skin off. Or this makeup that you use to hide yourself like a mask. I used to look at girls walking down the street with like perfect skin and no makeup on, and I was so jealous. I'm just going to be honest. I was really jealous. Like, how come they have flawless skin and I don't? And I just kept trying thing after thing after thing until I found this. And I got the colon cleanse from this website first. And when that worked so well, I was like, well, heck, it can't hurt. If they're 
colon cleanse worked so well for me, which again, look at my other video about their colon cleanse. I've lost weight and I feel great about it. But anyway, um, if that works, maybe this will work too. 